Hey everybody, it's Aaron at Warmoth, and today I am talking about the coolest telebridge of them all, so stick around. <laughs> So I will never lie to you, I am not the biggest Tele fan. Um, I'm not really the kind of guy that gets into vintage guitars and vintage specs. Um, though I will acknowledge the Tele's place in history, of course, and I know that tons of you out there are crazy go nuts over Tele's. Uh, so with all that in mind, today I am talking about what I think is the best Tele bridge of them all. I think it's the perfect marriage between maintaining the cool vintage appeal of it while bringing uh, modern improvements to the bridge. And that is the Godo vintage Tele bridge that Wormuth carries. Um, so let me start by opening up the package here. And this is it. And the first thing to know about this bridge is that it uses the same mounting pattern as the vintage Tele spec. Now it won't fit um, on an American standard uh, Tele and it doesn't fit the American professional, I think, but any body that you have that uses the, um, the vintage Tele mounting pattern, this will fit on very easily. Um, and of course, Warmoth offers that on our Tele replacement bodies. And that is really where the similarity with vintage Tele bridges ends. Uh, the first thing that differentiates this bridge from vintage Tele bridges uh, is the compensated saddles. And I can hear you saying already, well, Aaron, there's tons of Tele bridges out there with compensated saddles, and you would be right. Um, but they generally fall into two camps. One is they have six individual saddles, which to me just looks wrong. Um, the other camp is they have the the barrel saddles that are you know vintage correct, but in order to compensate them, they're milled in this way where they mount at funky angles, which to me looks just as wrong. Uh, the cool thing about the Godo bridge is that they're milled so that the barrels are straight, just like a vintage Tele, and the um, and the in tune feature or the the tweaks that they've made to make them intonate correctly are just tiny adjustments within the, the string channels themselves. So just looking at it, you know, casually, you, it, you can't even tell that they're there. Um, you know, to anybody just looking at it, it just looks like a vintage Tele bridge. No funky angles, no six saddles. So that's the first thing. The second thing that really differentiates it from the vintage spec are these little um, cutaways or the way the, the sides of the ashtray bridge kind of fall away right there. And to me, that's huge because, you know, then you're able to pick without just racking your hands on the sides of that ashtray bridge, which absolutely just, I cannot stand that. Now, this bridge is available in chrome and gold. Uh, the saddles are solid brass. Um, and I, I'm sure that right now you're, you're saying, Aaron, stop talking, just play it so I can hear it. And I'm not gonna do that in this video. And the reason why is because we're getting ready to shoot a video that you guys have been asking for for a long time. We're going to shoot, we're gonna do a shootout uh, between three Tele replacement bodies um, that are solid, chambered, and thin line or hollow. Um, and I will be using this bridge in that video. Uh, we, we hope to have that one out uh, probably about a month from now. Uh, so stay tuned for that and you'll get a chance to hear this bridge. In the meantime, if you want to know any more about this bridge, make sure and check out our website or give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking.